Alright guys, this is lesson number two on School of Punk Band Camp. So that means that you watch lesson number one and you have completed all the steps there. Now it's the time to find a drummer or the third member of the band. So in order to do this, either you know someone, which is the best case scenario. So the best case scenario in one of this is uh, you know a drummer, you know he has a garage. Um, he's quite good and you guys just you and your best friends and you guys are quite friends together you go there and you start playing a proper music room of onward uh, again that's the best case scenario but I know for a fact that that is not the usual case scenario that's quite challenging to find the drummer so I'm gonna focus on this in this lesson because it's important that you start looking for one and uh, there's so much more ways to look for a drummer nowadays than when I was little. In my times, a um, friend of mine and myself had to ride on the back of the bus. Like, the, of the bus. Uh, it was a bus to school and we wrote with a marker, like, um, it's, our band was called Lawyer Fans, and we were saying, Lawyer Fans looking for a drummer, call us, and we would pull like, our cell phone numbers there. And guess what? Someone actually called, and it was actually the drummer that we kept playing with for the following five years with. So that was quite amazing that we found it that way. But I'm sure nowadays we have different ways to do it and of course a bit more of our easiest as well. So you know you guys have you know Facebook so you can join like some Facebook group for musicians for punk. Um, school of course you can put in anywhere there that you know that someone that likes to play or wants to play with you. Um, any type of website I believe um, I don't know, Gumtree does that, or if you're in America, Craigslist. It's quite an easy place to find for a musician. Again, there are plenty of places where you need, you can find an actual drummer for your band, and I, I recommend you do um, put some efforts in it. And again, like it doesn't need. To, funny part is, you know, you, you guys don't need to be best friends all together. The important thing is like getting along. So you guys surely won't have some level of getting along if you know all like uh, punk music so again put your efforts together get this drummer on board when you get the drummer on board you need to have that repertory of at least 10 songs I say you know 10 solid cover you do when some songs of your own like you know like as much as you want really but some song of your own you you really want to start working on that and yes this is your chance that at this point I suggest that you also look to purchase an electric guitar. I will not say to purchase a, an amplifier yet. I mean, you can. Again, like, depends your level of money. If you have money, just purchase whatever you have to. But, you know, just purchase an electric guitar and a little amplifier. You don't need a big one at this point. You need a little amplifier to play at home. <coughs> For playing with your drummer and your, your best friends, your bassist player, or other guitarist player, I suggest your best friend does the bass and then the drummer. So you're in three and you're like Green Day or Nirvana, you know, you're a trio and that works quite well. Book a spot in a music room. It needs to be a professional music room that, where they have big amplifiers, uh, drums and everything there, like the microphones and mi mixers, everything there. Book that hour there to play. And uh, yeah, that's the most important thing. So once you find the drummer, you need to have that repertory of at least 10 solid chords and at least I say 4 to 5 songs of your own but if you don't like 1, 2, it's fair enough again you know you can come up with songs you know later on but yeah book that place in the music room you know you all get together you get you know if you don't drive yet yeah, you get your parents to find a spot to pick everybody's up and bring them to the music room get the nearest one go there and book an hour or two I, ideally it would be two to play uh, again this is the same thing you go there you play make sure you know what you're playing so bring these solid songs that you shared already with your members and we all on board to, to know how to, to do them so again start with something simple don't don't go there and start with something like uh, I don't know strong out or like you know very complicated songs start with something very simple again Ramones you can play loads of Ramones songs just for, just knowing like oh, and the, the drummer again doesn't need to do much but tum -pum, tum -pum, tum -pum. You can play loads of Ramon songs that way. Uh, some of no effects songs are quite easy. Uh, you know, there's bands that do quite easy songs, so just look for them. You know, usually, again, Ramon's is quite an easy one to start with. But again, no effects, not too bad. And, you know, some songs 
a lot of bands like Glad Wagon or Pennywise can be put in Brohim, it's quite an easy song to play away usually. Uh, so again, like, go to that music room, play together, like, have, try to have fun, but most importantly, and once again, record. Record the songs, bring your phones, record the songs you've done, record them, share them. And that is now that you are all together in a music room, yes, it's time for you to record the first video and the first band picture. So don't forget, and all this step needs to be done very quickly because when you when you do your record your first song, you do play together the first time. You want to have a feeling of, of of how you look together, how you play together. You want to have that video there. That's your very first video. It's not a professional video that goes on MTV, of course, but that's a video of your band playing your songs. Maybe I mean that isn't that amazing. And on top of that, at the end, take that phone. Take that band picture. Again, it doesn't need to be high profile, high quality Photoshop or anything. Take that band picture. Again, you will keep it there as the very first picture of your band. And again, at the end of all of this, yes, try. Think about a name. You know, you're together for the first time. There is no better place and time to set up the name for the band. It doesn't need to be a crazy name. Don't get too crazy with band names. I've, I've created, I've, I've got way too far with band names. I keep, I kept changing name of the bands instead of name of of, of albums. So that was weird. Like you need to have a very simple name, something that is funny, something that, that means something. It doesn't actually mean to me anything. But come up with an easy name that you aim. Like and, you know, a lot of bands have like no effects. What a very simple name. Ramones. Um, uh, uh, this is not bad punk, but Parkway Drive, they named themselves after the street they were playing on. Again, it doesn't need to be something crazy, but that's that, you need to have that name, and then you can call you know, yourself that band when you promote, and you, you, know, you make your friends listen to it, it's like, oh yeah, that's cool, what, what's, the, what's your band's name, guys? And then you say, like, I say the, the Lemmings, or whatever, like, uh, no names, any type of names again, as long as you have it. So, yes, right now for this, this is actually the very, like at this point you can call yourself a punk band. You can go on and say, I play in a punk band. Again, it's maybe a bit too early because you might want to be consistent and play at least every week or every other week in the music room to have that sense of playing together and working together on things and then you know you establish you, you create and establish that relationship so again book that next session don't leave it there because then people change their mind they can't try to make it consistent it needs to be a consistent play consistent uh, like exercising for your bands all together and then of course you do your own diligence but again like keep playing keep exercising so yes book that next um, session at, at the at the music room and this is lesson number two for School of Punk Bandcamp. It's nothing else to learn at this point, just focus again, like keep playing, keep recording, keep exercising, and this is all you need. In the lesson number three, we will see how to take it to the next level, which is your very first punk rock show. Thank you guys for watching, this is Robert Bass, and always keep it real. Bye bye.